tell me what all this means. Quantera, it, it might not be connected, but let's see. Quantera, well, I'll, I'll tell you about Quantera, Quantera Smith. Smith is cut. He was a fifth round draft pick of the Broncos just two years ago out of Western Kentucky. Um, so he's cut. He was going to play some outside linebacker if he's stuck. Um, the Broncos and John Elway have said they'll take a long look at linebackers if a good one is there in the first round. Uh, there's a linebacker who has shown up in a lot of mock drafts in the 28th spot, the Broncos spot. Excuse me, a guy named Shane Ray. I haven't seen him out of Missouri. No, I saw him okay, in one. Right. A guy named one. Shane Ray. Yeah. But his draft stock now might be falling because he was cited for marijuana earlier this week. So, he where do you want to start? Where do you want Colorado? Yeah, he? I know. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? You know, his draft stock is falling. He did something illegal. Somewhere else it's illegal. Here it's just fine. I mean, there's kind of a dichotomy there. And and <laughs> and, 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 and it was said that he, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't out of his mind or doing anything ugly. He was stopped, cited for a traffic offense, and they they uh, found uh, in the in the dashboard somewhere they found some personal marijuana. Yeah. Plus, he has a foot injury, which might have hurt his draft yeah, stock to begin injury. with. So toe now, injury. so now a guy who a lot of people were saying should be a top ten or a top fifteen pick, 15, Shane Ray, 15, sixteen. Yeah. Now might not be picked until the fourth round. If he's there at twenty eight, do the Broncos take a shot at him? No, not because of the marijuana. I'm not. I'm not barred. See, that sounds. But we are living in a state where it's legal. Right. It should be legal. I'm making a political statement here, and it's it's legalized in 22 states. Did you know that? No. Some form I thought it was only it, three or four. If some form oh, of it, medical marijuana, yeah. or if you're elderly, or if you or have under a certain amount. Yeah. On you, and I don't know the Washington, amounts because I don't smoke. Is the latest, uh, yeah. the, our ca nation's capital now, you, and, yeah. and and I get calls from people. I really, I get calls from people saying, uh, "How's this going on in in Colorado?" And I said, "Well, there's the, the ongoing debate." Uh, but there's but, another angle to this, Wood, and and the angle that bothers me is he's so close to the draft, yet he's riding around with marijuana, knowing the NFL frowns upon it. So how intelligent is this kid? Even if he's the how, best how linebacker in the draft and he's available to the Broncos, don't you have to question his judgment? How intelligent are the, what would you guess, 14 or 15 people arrested in Denver last night for DUI? Would you guess that, that, that that's I would question worth? their judgment. Well, I mean, people do stuff that, uh, uh, that they shouldn't be doing. But I would say this to you. I, when I said no, the Broncos shouldn't take him, the toe injury could keep him out yeah. for five more months. It's a serious toe injury. So I want somebody, I want somebody that can play right now. Did you see my email? You were talking about it all. Peter King's pick? Yes. Uh, and I can't say the kid's name. From I Texas think it's Ogbui. Cedric Ogbui. He had, Offensive lineman. He would have been a top 10 to 15 pick that could fall to the Broncos. Texas A&M right tackle. Uh, that tore his ACL. That in Peter, I think Peter the bowl game four months ago. Yeah. yeah. Peter King claims that the Broncos are really interested in him, and they have brought him in. They've talked to him. Now this fits into what we were talking about yesterday. Is John Elway looking for somebody to play this year, or for somebody to play in his second year? You could probably get a guy who would have been in the top 10 to 15, it would be a value pick. We're going to talk later about value picks yeah. the Broncos have made in the past. But do you do that? No, I don't do that either. I don't do somebody that's got an ACL that can't play for maybe till November, December. And this goes back to the conversation we had yesterday. John Elway saying most of the guys we pick, we project, we hope, will be starters in their second year. They're going to take a guy in the first round that they hope will be a starter this year, or at least part of the rotation, whether it be offensive line, defensive line, or line. Okay, where could a guy, can I ask you off, yeah. off the uh, sure. beaten track here, where can a guy play a lot right away? Right tackle. Okay. Where else? Rotation, defensive line. Okay. Possibly safety. Okay, I, I would go with that. And depending on the health of Marshall and Trevathan, uh, maybe compete for uh, a spot at linebacker. Inside linebacker. Yeah. Yeah. That's four. 
<laughs> First segment of the show brought to you by the Harmony Foundation. It's Colorado's premier treatment program for drug and alcohol addiction located just outside of Estes Park. A very nice, very private 45-acre mountain campus. It is insurance friendly. If you have a problem or you know somebody who does, visit HarmonyFoundationInc.com.